Hey guys, okay, so today I decided to do a video about the products that are definitely worth the splurge. Um, and what I mean by that, all the products that I'm going to be showing you today are high-end. But some people do not know what high-end products are really worth the money. Like, are they really worth that amount of money that you're going to spend for that certain product? Um, and why are they good? So I decided I'm going to help you guys out by, I went around my house and I picked out some of the things that I use all the time and that are high-end and that were definitely worth the money and I'm really glad that I spent the money on buying it. So the first things, the first two things are going to be um, hair and then the rest of the stuff is going to be um, makeup and beauty for your makeup and stuff like that, you know, for your face. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is my flat iron and this is the it's actually rubbed off what it says because I use it so much. It's the Nano Titanium by Babyless and it's the skinny one. Um, this, I honestly do not know how much it was, but I know it was high end because um, my aunt bought it for me a long, long time ago, like uh, when I was in like ninth grade. And um, But yeah, so I really like this one. It works really well. Um, and if you notice, like the plates are actually look like kind of like mirrors. But um, they're really nice. It does the job perfectly. It makes your hair really silky smooth. And I like that it's skinny. And then you close it, it's even skinny. And it'll get really close to your roots if they're like frizzy or if you want to straighten those as well. When usually like for example a chi or something you really can't use is uh, chi to get really close to your roots sometimes because it's so thick and it won't get that close. Also it gets really hot so it straightens your hair really fast and you can adjust the temperature right here so if you don't want it too hot then you can adjust it to whatever like for example if you have a chi I know you really can't do that all you do is flip the switch on this one you can adjust to the temperature and this is salon quality this is what um, hairstylists use in their um, salon so you know it's got to be good if they use it and um, but yeah so it was definitely worth the money so if you are looking for a flat iron and you want a, a really Okay, on to the next hair product. This is actually higher end. It is the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In product. It looks like this. As you can see, I've used it a lot. The tin's kind of rubbed off, and I'm down to here, and this is the big bottle. So I'm down to here. Um, I use this all the time. I spray this on my hair when I get out of the shower, and I'll read you what the 10 things it does is. Um, it repairs dry, damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, uh, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray, and thermal protector. So this obviously does a lot and I really, really like it. Um, if you're looking for something to protect your hair, like from blow drying it and, you know, flat ironing it, um, this one is amazing. I still double up on it. Um, when This is when I get out of the shower. It protects, I like to think it protects it from blow drying. Um, but after it's blow dried, I still use a different one. Um, I use a BioSilk thermal spray before I straighten my, straighten my hair or curl it. Um, that's what I use. So if you're looking for a high-end hair product, this is one I definitely recommend. Um, I don't really see many It's a Tin products on YouTube. Um, but I really like it and I definitely recommend it. Then the next thing, we're moving on to makeup. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion and literally you can't even see, it doesn't even say anything and the top's like all rubbed off because obviously I've used it a ton. And then this one is in Sin, if you can, you probably, nope, you can't see that. But it's in Sin and this one's my favorite. They, I mean, all of them are really good, don't get me wrong, but just my personal preference is Sin. I use Sin because I use um, shim more shimmery eyeshadows, and I like this one the best because it kind of enhances that. So this is why it is my favorite, but if you're looking for a primer, this is just absolutely wonderful for, you know, priming your eyes. So Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to recommend is my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC in Medium. 
and this is what it looks like it's just a face powder and I highly recommend this it's just absolutely amazing this is what I'm wearing for foundation today I love it I could not go a day without it right now I'm just on one of those kicks I guess I only use this for my foundation and then concealer obviously but um, I definitely recommend this this is amazing definitely worth the splurge um, the powder I mean it's just a really good consistency um, I really like it so there's just not really you know much I can say other than the fact that I really really like it um, and yeah so if you are looking for a nice face powder and they come in lots of shades which I really like um, and if you're looking for a good face powder, I definitely recommend the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I've tried some other um, face powders, but I always end up going to this one because I really like it. So I definitely recommend this one. And it like, I mean, even if you use foundation, you can put this over it and it, you know, makes, your, makes you look more flawless and it, you know, takes away the shimmeriness from your oils and stuff. So it definitely, you know helps with that. And the next thing that I recommend is a powder brush. Um, I know they come in those little pads, not the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but I know a lot of them do um, come in those little, you know, sponges. But those like harvest bacteria, you really can't wash them. Um, and the coverage, it doesn't go on as good. It kind of goes on chalky, um, not really natural. So I definitely recommend a powder brush. And this one is by MAC. And this one is like $50. So it is expensive for a face brush. But this, I have the Sigma one. And this one is my absolute favorite. It's the MAC 150 brush. And it looks like this. And it's just, I don't know, it's tapered. The difference between the Sigma one and the MAC one is this one is not as, um, thick I guess and the Sigma one is not at, it doesn't kind of come quite to that dome it's almost kind of flat and um, but I really like this one um, I'm not dogging the Sigma one because I use that one for my bronzer so I really like that one for bronzer but for face powder I definitely recommend this one um, for face powder so on to the next thing amazing cosmetics concealer um, this one is in light golden um, but I really, really like this. This is actually a lot. I want to say it's like 40 something dollars. Um, but it, it actually is definitely worth the money because I use like a pinhead amount. Like that's a for, I mean, even if I have like 50 pimples, I could use like a pinhead amount. Um, and also for underneath your eyes, you use very little. And so obviously this is going to last a really long time with the amount I've been using. Um, to cover up pimples and underneath my eyes and a lot of compared to other concealers you usually have to buy one for under your eyes and then one for your blemishes and redness and stuff like that this actually works for all of it i don't know quite how it's liquidy enough to put underneath your eyes and it's dry enough to put on your pimples and redness and the it completely makes a pimple or redness anything disappear it's amazing and I've had the hardest time I got to where I stopped putting um, concealer underneath my eyes because um, I would notice that it would kind of cake up and it would look dry there with this it does not It'll make you look even more flawless and more wide awake so I definitely recommend this it's amazing and yeah so if you're looking for an amazing concealer try out amazing cosmetics that sounded like an infomercial didn't it I'm sorry it's real I'm not being paid by Amazing Cosmetics. I'd be amazing if I was, but I definitely am not. Okay, this is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I was using, if you follow my videos, you know that I was using a drugstore one, and it was the NYC Bronzer and Sun Smooth Skin, Smooth Skin Bronzer or something like that. I definitely recommend that. If you do not have the money to spend for that, it was an amazing one. I used it all up. Um, but I went out and bought a Laguna bronzer because, I mean, everybody's been raving about it for a really long time since before I even started um, doing videos. People have been talking about it. So I wanted to get my first one. I'm probably blinding you guys. I wasn't even thinking about that. Sorry, guys. Um, but this one is, I've noticed that this one, I'm like, I feel like I've kind of been missing out since I um, switched to this one. Because um, I, I was only using my Smooth Skin Bronzer by NYC. And when I got this one, I was like, wow, what a huge difference. It doesn't, I mean, even though the Smooth Skin Bronzer doesn't make you orange, per se, but this one is just like the perfect tan, I guess I should say. I mean, it just looks so natural on your skin. And it's so pigmented, so you mean you 
one little swipe and you know you put it on your face and like I noticed when I first put it on because see before when I was using the smooth skin I have to get a lot of product on my brush to really get the effect that I wanted and with this I did the same thing to this thinking that it was going to work the same way as my smooth skin and I put it on right here and I had like a big dark blotch because that's how pigmented it was right here because I start with the three right there so if you are looking for a really good bronzer I definitely recommend this one Okay, and then the next thing is my Smashbox Photo Finish Light, uh, and it's the oil-free and obviously the white one, and it looks like this. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I bought this, in a pre and I showed you in a previous haul, and I've been using it every single day. As you can see, like, I'm running out right there. This is really, like, it makes your skin so smooth because it has the silicone in it, and um, it makes your skin go the makeup go on so smooth on your skin. Also, you can wear it. You can wear it alone, and it like completely takes away the oiliness that you had on your face. And then the next thing that I have is my Stila Smudge Pot and Kitten, and this one is amazing. And it looks like this. It's shimmery, and if, as you can see, I've used a ton of it. It's because I use it over my whole lid, and a lot of times I get. Um, questions on you know what am I wearing what eyeshadow am I wearing and usually I am wearing this one so if you ever really you know if my eyeshadow looks kind of like this then I'm wearing this one 90% of the time it lasts all day long and it's really hard to get off it's waterproof and it's really shimmery it looks like an eyeshadow and I don't even have to put eyeshadow over it so I just swipe this on and then put a little eyeshadow in the crease and I'm good to go eyeshadow wise Okay, the last thing that I have is eyeshadow, and it is none other than the Naked Palette, and you've all seen it, and it does cost quite a bit of money, and these are all the eyeshadows, um, but these to me are, you know, your basic, you know, must-have eyeshadows, almost like your basic staple items, um, like as if you would have your basic staple items like your white shirt, your little black dress, you know, for your fashion. This would be your staple item for eyeshadow makeup wise. Um, you can create a tons of looks with this and they're all really classy and they're all, you know, natural looking. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette or if you've been wondering whether or not you want to sp spend the money for the Naked palette because it took me a while to buy this bad boy. Yeah, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, but anyway, that's it for all my advice for you guys on um, if you want to splurge for the uh, product that you're wanting to buy. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.